What's going on? How's everybody doing? Y'all good? Alright, uh, episode 5 and 6 are up, boys. They're fucking up. That's right. That's fucking right. Alright, you know what? I'm excited to play, and today it's quite early still. It's morning, and I will be recording and uploading video after video after video after video and it's gonna be good you know what I've been uh, doing a bit of research on um, what to do actually with growing the channel a bit and I got some ideas passing by my head you know a giveaway or some stuff like that but I kind of was thinking what's the point of doing a giveaway if you got one viewer <laughs> I mean I bet he won't mind but uh, <laughs> this is kind of just giving the game away. Well, it is that anyway, but you know. Um. So yeah, I'm not sure about that one yet. I might do it. I might. Uh, I might not. Either way, I don't really know what to do. But um, we'll see. I'll be doing some more research later today. Maybe do a little bit of uh, promoting, but uh, we'll see. All right. Um, what I wanted to do start off today is do a side quest, a delicate matter, and um, we have to get to Herbert Glover, who lives in Culbridge Road. Central Old Grove. His house is situated between Windhalf and Century Avenue. All right. So we're Century Avenue and the Culbridge Road. So I guess that's around Yeah. All right. How's everybody been? Did you guys have a good rest? Good sleep? Hope y'all did. I've been uh my back is still kind of sore. I'm not really sure where it um where it came from. But I really wanted to go away because tomorrow Tomorrow is Monday again, and, um, well, I got to be working from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. in the evening, so. Fuck. <laughs> is this it? Is this the house? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe I'm completely wrong. What did the casebook say? Between wind half and... Oh, we never here, so the house must be there. My bad. But then it is in the center as well, so maybe on this side? Let's go and check that out. Yeah, man, it's been, uh, it's been quite, uh, an experience so far. I, uh, always wanted to be a YouTube gamer, and, um,. I do really want to make this my full-time job simply because it is just a lot more fun than the most things uh, to do in life. <laughs> simply put. Um, but you know, um, it's a lot more work than people actually uh, actually people give credit for. I mean, I knew there had to be uh, editing and stuff like that. I knew that. Uh, that was never the problem, but little lag there. But I just didn't think it would be this much. Because you gotta, of course you gotta record your videos. And if something goes wrong, you better save the game. <laughs> or something like that, because you do not want to start all over. Fuck, which house is it then? Is it this one? Oh, yeah, I think this is it. Did <laughs> need a loading screen for that? Oh, you guys hear that? That's not good. Y'all hearing that, right? There's one. 
Another one. Fuck you. Oh god. Get wrecked. Is there anyone else? Fuck I'm talking about boys. That's how you that's how you play a game, man. That's how you fucking do it. Francis Throckmorton is now single. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, who the fuck would do that? Francis Throckmorton, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again an eligible bachelor. <laughs> okay. It's missing the head. His head moved. Okay, find his head, open the door. I'm predicting this right now. It's going to be accurate, trust me. I'm a doctor. Letter to Throgmorton. Mr. Throgmorton is with the deepest regret that I must inform you that the price of the for the piece you have requested has been changed once again. The demand for it has increased and now it's triple that which we agreed earlier. I know this is the second time that I've raised the price, but the extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me, as I cannot replenish my collection. Herbert Glover. You fucker. Where my fat loot's at? The door room budge. Anything special? Don't look like it. Let's go check in the basement. More of these fuckers. Nope, not shovel. Ooh, that looks like something you have to take a picture of. No? Taking it anyway. Nice. Statues. Ah! Fucking told you my predicament was gonna be alright, alright. Let's go and do that then. Is this loot? There is no fat loot! <laughs> man, guys, I'm seriously so excited for Borderlands 3, man. That game is gonna be the shit. Hey! What do I get? A first aid kit. Fucking sweet. Let's go check upstairs where these fuckers came from. With my gold tummy gun. Alcohol. A penis. Doesn't work. Oh. He's the yep. I guess he didn't. Can I pick up the gun? Rotate. What's that? Can you guys see that? It looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. I see. Yeah, you like what you see, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> huh. That's a lot of warning shots. Any slight scratches around the keyhole. Broke in. They have to pick a lock. Wow. Oh. I'll find out why the old lady wants you so bad. See. By the way, guys, if you walk towards something and you see those uh, kind of white circles around the screen. That means uh, you have to use your uh, superpower. 
Yo, a Bellatown. Is there maybe a book I can pull? It looks like I, there's a book I can pull. Nope. Alright, let's go solving that murder. District, you grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags here. Who are you? What in K's name are you doing in my house? So, that'll be one for sure. Easiest gig at this district. There's gotta be two where he captures them and then he runs away and then they kill him here. Easy. One of them squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. The second one killed Glover. Well, my theory was almost as right as that. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get out. All right, so we got the letter to Throckmorton, which we could take to Throckmorton. The picture, a crudely drawn picture of a strange looking meow meow. Two men broke into Herbert Glover's house in the old grove to steal a specific mirror. One of them, an experienced thief named Squint, proceeded to crack a safe, alerted the owner, and got a bullet. The second burglar killed the owner with a knife. Squint mentioned that this is not the first robbery in the district of Old Grove. Alright, so I feel like um, we should maybe go to the police station? And um, do a bit of research on burglaries or something like that. Let's go and check if that's right. Uh, Art and Mark. Oh, let's get moving. Maybe there's a fast travel point nearby. Alright, I'm going to go uh, look for a fast travel point real quick. And I will see you guys in a minute. Alright. Just uh, got myself two new fast travel points. Over here and up here. No, up here. Yeah, that's it. All right, um, we are right next to the police station. Let's go ahead and get in there and see if we can do some puzzling. Puzzly, puzzly. Oh, this ought to be fun. Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius to crack the case of Albert Frogmorton. <sighs> What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? You and I have a problem, officer. No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well... Wow. In the meantime. <clears throat> you can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks. Wow, aren't you a friendly chap? So you're mad at me because you are not doing your job. Well, you know, can't have it all, I guess. Oh, I had to sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> Staff only. Here we go. An art collector's demise. Yeah, so we did get it. All right. Um, two men broke into Herbert Glover's house in Old Grove. Oh, Old Grove. Uh, suspect. Crimes. Property crimes? Because they stole something? Of somebody's house? Um. Let's see, this is good. Oh! Get the fuck out. How am I this, this good? <clears throat> So I'm talking about. 
All right, squint. Male, 46 in known crimes, numerous burglaries, an old grove, breaking and entering, tax evasion. Uh, possible associates, Sydney Stokes, male, o resident, residence in Oakmond, Northern Salvation Harbor. All right, so we got to... Got to keep that in mind. So he's in Oakmont, Mass, Northern Salvation Harbor, west of the intersection of Moorland. Jaywalking, lollygag, injury duty, dodging. All right. So let's see. Looks like we got to be going to this guy. Uh, Northern Salvation Harbor in Oakmont. All right, let's get to Salvation Harbor, all right, and then northern of it. Let's mark this one for a minute and then go back to him because my memory ain't so good. Um, northern Salvation Harbor, west of the intersection of Moreland Road and Salvation Road. All right, so Moreland Road and Salvation Road. Moreland Road and Salvation Road. So he's got to be around... Meow. Well, that's uh, that's a journey. <laughs> I will be uh, skipping to that because nobody wants to sit through a walk like that. So uh, see you guys in a little bitty poo. Alright, we're back. And I, um, <clears throat> I made it to Moreland Road. And I believe it's got to be this house. With the stripes on it. With the stripes on it. Resident of Sydney Stokes. We got it, boys. Uh, I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider it. Whatever this is. <laughs> exactly. Let's keep my gun close, cause he might. I had a fucking feeling this was gonna happen. Where's your friends at? Where's your friends at? I feel like it's not wrong. Y'all better get out of my jungle. I'm too goddamn good at this game. Well, there's still one more. Alright, so I gotta fucking create some ammo because... They are pooping on me. Come on, I hear you. Where are you then? Letter from the morgue. The prize for separate burial for your mother Martha Stokes is 30 bullets. The morgue cannot give you a discount. There are more requests for burials than we have resources or manpower to satisfy. You must make the payment in two weeks or we will have to enter your mother in a mass grave. Jesus! That's fucked up. There he is. Get the fuck out of my jungle, motherfucker. See you later, bitches. Man, I knew they were coming too. Secret door? I'm feeling like a secret door. Looks like I'd be wrong. Ugh. Just gonna check upstairs. Hope that was the fucking last of them because. I ain't not in the mood to be fat no more. What a fucking surprise. He's dead. There's a the pick lock set so you can know that he went to the safe. See? See uh, the outer sides of my screen? Like the water driplets? That's what I mean with then you have to use your power. Hmm. 
Alright, buddy. Looks like Squint was having a bad day. That's why I'm getting a shot just to be stabbed. But who did it? At long last, I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. Wait, what? Somebody else took the mirror, apparently. Ah, here we go. I knew this guy had a secret door. Fuck! Get away from the. Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another monster. Sydney Stokes, I presume. Uh, yeah, that's the right. right. Do, I, do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here about Herbert Glover. I believe you know him. Or, should I say, knew him. Ah. Uh. trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? Yeah, it wasn't me. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. Some kind of hocus pocus? You said she put the wall here. Who is she? she, she she's our employer. I don't know her name or anything. She, she, she promised us a good payout for a simple job. And I fell for it like a chump. No. Come on. Paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was tall and thin, very thin, just skin and bones. Me like a rattlesnake. That's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at her. So where's this fancy mirror now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big bro out and she shifted. him. Hey, what? I do now. Phil was the idea guy. I, I was I, just a sap. What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then hoof it out of there. Were you hired to kill the collector too? Or was that just for laughs? I, I, I swear to Kay, I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us and I, and I panicked. You panicked? Really? That's your excuse. As Kay is my witness, I, I didn't mean to kill anyone. I I'll give you everything I have. Just, just let me walk. Nah, man, you killed somebody. Well, you've had quite a night. Break in, theft, and manslaughter. I'm gonna have to report this. Uh, please, I I'll, uh, I'll get the char for this. You should have thought of that before you killed him. Get the fuck out of my, 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 my city. Nah, I wasn't right. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go ahead and see what we got. An unknown woman took possession of the mirror that the thieves stole from Glover's residence. She killed Phil O'Collin, also known as the street as Squint. She said that she'd fix what Francis had done. She may look old, but there's no frail bone in her body. And still more capable than murder. Sydney Stokes, along with Phil Squint O'Connell, were hired by a strange woman to steal a specific mirror from Herbert Glover. Accidentally killed Herbert during the robbery, they later met with the woman at Sydney's place, where she killed Phil, took the mirror, and locked Sydney inside. Sydney couldn't remember her in much detail except that she was thin, old, and had bad temper. I shall return to Mr. Throgmorton to tell him what I found. Alright. <clears throat> this should be quick enough because we can just go ahead and fast travel. Let's go ahead and see what uh, Mr. Throckmorton has to tell me. Let's see. Throckmorton's house is meow. So we travel to meow. Right over meow. Alright. Press any button. Got it. 
All right, let's head back to the ape's house. Mr. Monkey Monkey Throckmorton. Man, I've been uh, fucking enjoying the hell out of this game. Fucking the crime solving and shields. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Lover's dead. He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes, who happened to be robbing his place. He wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is the mirror now? Their employer has it. That's some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So. My enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Sidney Stokes managed to make it out of one piece. Now, if I had to guess, he's probably holed up at his home. Want the address? I would welcome it. I'll take pleasure in uh, educating him on some, uh, shall we say, essential truth. All right, I've held up my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Give me my dollars. You know everything. Would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? <laughs> yes. I'm the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. Let's fucking get it done. I'm on it. Only got one lead, though. Culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, uh, yes. That is without doubt my father, Francis Throckmorton. Okay, rest his soul. And what's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in the record. That's what led me to take interest. None would outlive him. You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. Reed. But if that's what you need, so be it. Take this. Woo, baby! The stolen mirror and a new side quest through the looking glass. So I think it would be fun if we continue uh, this little side quest, and we will be continuing that in the next Marvel episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in a little bit.